Hello guys! So a lot of... not a lot? What the hell? A guy asked this question, but how do you make people be able to join your server? TeamSpeak for server, we'll say that. Yeah, TeamSpeak free server. So yeah, basically when you install your server, that's done. I mean, basically now people can join your server, but there might be some problems. So, how do we fix these problems? Well, there could be some things which makes people unable to go into the server things on your computer that blocks him, the user so I'm gonna uh, f show you some things that will block it mm, first thing will be Windows Firewall so if you go to the control panel and scroll down to the very bottom if you have classic mode which I like Windows Firewall, I don't care how you get it, you just find it make sure it's just on on, not that thingy because we need to allow exceptions you go into the exceptions and here you're gonna add a port. You can also add a port program. So uh, the firewall won't mind when the program started and things like that. But I don't think it will help that much. You can also um, browse for it. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna add a port. And then you're gonna tap in the name on the of the server. So a, a name for the port. And I, I, it doesn't matter what the name is. You can have the same name for every port. And yes, like that and add the default port or whatever port your server is using and you're gonna add first um, first TCP then UDP and I already have it added so if I add it you see that this thing will happen and the next thing you, you press OK and next thing UDP same thing okay that's one thing you can do also you may need to, to port forward your your uh, your router, if you have a router, we'll say if you don't have a router, you skip this part and try if the Windows Firewall does it for you, if it works after that. So yeah, if you go into s uh, run thing A, type in CMD, press OK, in here, on this black window, you're gonna type in IP config slash all, and you're gonna look for a number which says standard, standard gateway. Uh, 192.168.0.1 for me. So I, then you're gonna open a web browser and type in 192.168.0.1, the same number as the uh, standard gateway. Here you will need to log in. The you, you default the default username is admin, and the default password is this nothing. Press OK. If that doesn't work, uh, try to get the password from someone who has to well try to get the password I don't know how you get it if it can't get it maybe call support or something I don't know okay when you get in here you're gonna find the port forward tab uh, you just take in a place which looks like this and I'm gonna show you how to port forward for a D-Link 624 so yeah, I'm gonna type in enabled, I'm gonna type in the name of it, doesn't matter which name, you can have the same name for everything. Yeah, there we go. Private EP, IP is, we're gonna take from the fa same window we had opened before. IP address, that's your la LAN IP. 192.168.0.100, so yeah, we're gonna type in that. Okay, now next thing here, protocol type, we're gonna type in both. You're gonna type in private port 9987, public port 9987. Type in schedule always, then press apply. So yeah, that's how you port forward. I can't port forward any more ports. This is the limit for my router. So yeah, if now all you gotta do is send the, inf the correct information to your friends, and that you need the right EP for your IP for your computer, and you can just go into my IP. NL and just copy this the above thing which has one IP address copy it close that down oh no no I have fuck yeah yeah whatever Okay, sorry. Okay, so now when you connect, you just type in this. 
whoops well you can have a space but yeah remove the space and the right port default port 9987 press connect and they should work for your friends so yeah thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope it helped see you guys